Hello YouTubers, this is Daniel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your IKEA Inibu speaker uh, turning on remotely. Uh, I know a lot of you have this uh, issue with the thing about the Bluetooth automatically turning off uh, approximately 20 minutes after turning on. Um, so we're not going to work around that, but we are going to make a, a little hack so so that you can turn it off and on uh, remotely i've ordered from some of the chinese well-known online shops this sonoff sv remote switch the sv stands for safe voltage and it's operating within 5 to 24 volts We're going to be using it as an inching switch, dry switch. And we're going to hack the module as well. You're going to have to remove the two resistors here and there, and the other one just besides it. Remove those. Then you're going to have to solder some wires between the in minus and the in plus. So you're going to close the circuit there. And then you're going to be using the out pins as a dry switch. Well, I'm not, uh, I ain't going to have any videos about the mounting itself so i'm having some pictures from when i did it myself uh, i'm gonna talk you through those uh, gonna power it on those pins right there a plus plus and a minus and the great thing about the ikea hack here is that the ikea built-in power supply is providing 18 volts so you're gonna be able to power this little board from within the speaker if you don't know anything about these son of boards I, I recommend you to to uh, have a look around YouTube there's a lot of good videos about these and what they are also capable of okay upon opening you'll see the right hand side there you see the uh, power supply where you're gonna steal the 18 volts from it's clearly marked on the wires which are ground and which are 18 plus. So back to the main board, you're gonna see the switch on the left hand side, you're gonna see three soldering points and the right hand side, you're gonna see two soldering points. The two soldering points are those that you're gonna be using from the output pins and then be soldering to those two points. That's the on and off switch function. That should be it. Thank you. 